Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to read a stem and leaf plot. So I've already made this, as you can quite see. So, um, sorry, stem and leaf plot. So I'm going to teach you how to read them and what you can do with them. So right now, um, let's just look at how like, each number above corresponds to so, like 15 is 1 and 5. 16 is, or 32 for example, the 3 is the first digit, and the 2 is the second digit. So the 3 is in the beginning, and the 2 is at the end. So with the stem and leaf plot, you can find the average, which is the mean, the median, and the range. Oops. Um, so, you can find those three things. So let's do the range. You just take the biggest number, which is 41, minus 15. So write that right here, 41, minus 15 is, so you cross out the 4, now it's a 3, cross out the 1, basically, now it's an 11, now let's cross it out. So now it's 11 minus 5. 6 and 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's 26 is the range. Now it's, um, you can also find the average, but for, um, for sake of time, I'm not gonna do it right now, these numbers, but it's pretty hard to do, so that we're not gonna do it for the sake of time. Basically, you find the number, so average and mean mean the same thing. Let's go to the median. So the median is the middle number. With a stem and leaf plot, medians are really easy. You can just cross out the last number and cross out the first number and do it all the way until you get to the middle number. Now, for some plots in this case, there you have to find the mean of the two numbers. The mean is the middle number in between them. So the, the middle number in between them is 4.5. So that would be the median. Uh, so yeah guys, you can find all those things, and thank you. Bye.